Yo, what is up, guys? James Carter TV here for my week nine NFL prediction. Now, I promise, this is the last week I'm going to be late. I cleared out my schedules for the next following uh, season, you know, the next eight weeks, I'm cleared for Wednesdays and Thursdays, so don't worry, this will be the last time I'm doing it last minute, but with that said, let's do it last minute, alright, so Thursday night, I picked the Panthers, I was wrong, I thought at home the Panthers could take care of business, and I was wrong, and now I still believe, uh, even when I picked the Panthers, I thought the Saints are going to win this division, because the Saints are going to beat the Panthers later on in the road, and the Saints are going to end up being 9-7, they're going to beat the Panthers out for the division. Now, I believe that even more. The Panthers, they're done. I mean, they're, they lost three straight games. Their offense stinks. Cam Newton stinks. Ron Rivera's in trouble. No division title for them. The Saints will stroll onto the division at 9-7. and seven, At 9-7. and seven. So, with that said, Let's go to these games, okay? Sunday games, and I have some more upsets for you. Now, I did terrible last week. I did absolutely awful, but does that stop me? No. I'm still doing the same thing I've always done. Why? Because most of these weeks I've been doing really well. Why? Because I see those games that you don't see. And sometimes it bites me in the ass, and then other times I'm the best picker on the planet. And I like that. So with that said, the first upset of the day. We have the Bucks at the Browns. That's right, I have the Bucks beating the Cleveland Browns. I'm still not sold on Cleveland. I've never been sold on Cleveland. Yes, they're 4-3. and three. They've been four of the Worst teams in the league. Yeah, they beat the Saints. Remember, the Saints stink on the road. So that doesn't mean anything to me. They beat the Tennessee Titans. Uh, they lost to the worst team in the league and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, th this is not a good Browns team to me. Uh, and the best win they've had was obliterating the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. That's all they have on their resume. Uh, but it, that's not enough for me. I see the Buccaneers going on the road. Battle center Alex Mack is going to be out. And that sets up Gerald McCoy to have a big day. He's going to be a disruption. Mike Glennon does enough to win this game. Uh, and to everyone's surprise, and I'll say by a score of like 23 to 17. I have that much faith in the Buccaneers, even though they are terrible. Uh, we have the Arizona Cardinals at the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Whedon, uh, is out for, uh, is playing for this game because Tony Romo is out for this game. And I don't care. I mean, th this is a really trendy pick. Oh, Brandon Whedon started, let's pick the Arizona Cardinals. But the Cardinals are the worst secondary in the league, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is something no one wants to hear because they're the Cardinals and we just assume they have a great defense. They're impenetrable. No, their secondary stinks. Uh, and there's a reason why Jeremy Macklin had a career day last week. Now what the hell is Des Bryant going to do? I don't care how bad Brandon Whedon is. The fact that Brandon Whedon can throw it up to Des Bryant, just like how he threw it up to Justin Blackman in college, that's enough for me to pick the Cowboys. He'll just throw it up there. Des will get it. And secondary for Cardinals, overrated. I mean, they, they're allowing the most passing yards in the league. Your boy Patrick Peterson, your boy Tyron Matthew, they're not playing well. Face facts, ladies and gentlemen. Next game, we have the Philadelphia Eagles at the Houston Texans. There's another upset that I have. Boom, boom, boom. Upsets everywhere as I picked the Houston Texans to defeat the Philadelphia Eagles. I said last week in my prediction video, I see the Eagles starting to slip. I see them slipping out of the playoff picture. Now, I think this is going to continue this week. The Texans hosting. They lost last week. Actually, they won that last week in Nashville. Now they're back home. Philly lost last week. Philly, you have to take Houston seriously. J.J. Watt's going to get after Nick Foles, force some interception. Ryan Fitzpatrick will play well enough to win. Arian Foster will run well enough to win. I like the Texans to win this one. We have the New York Jets at the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm picking the Chiefs, but, man, one of these games, Rick Ryan's is going to have to win. One of these games, I'm expecting Rex Ryan to win, but I'm done picking it to happen. I'm just going to... I'm just going to sit back and wait for it to happen, but nobody's surprised Michael Vick comes out and just, you know, and does enough to win. He's not going to be a world beater like this is 2001, but he's going to play well. Um, So I have the Chiefs winning very close on 23 to 20, but, I mean, look out for the Chiefs here. Uh, I mean, look out for the Jets here because they could really uh, upset some of you guys' eliminator leagues. Uh, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Cincinnati Bengals. No upset here. Uh, I mean, the Ch Bengals are going to win this one. They're back on a winning track. They're back on track to win the AFC North as of right now. And we'll see how that continues as the season progresses. But there's also a big AFC North game this night. And let's just get Cleveland out of here. Let's just take them out of here, please. And, and please get Cleveland out of here. They're not going to win anything. I hear people talk about Cleveland going to the playoffs, winning the AFC North. Get that shit out of here. You're going to look like a fool when there you go 6-10 and 10 at the end of the season. So with that said, I'm picking the Bengals, though, to beat 
the Jaguars. We have the San Diego Chargers going to Miami, facing the Miami Dolphins. Now, this worries me. Okay, the Chargers have been on a downslide lately. Now they have to go cross country to Miami and face Miami. But the fact of the matter is this the Chargers are a better team than the Miami Dolphins. Uh and because of that I had to pick them. Now the Dolphins could upset me again because the Dolphins have been doing that a lot this season. But I just like Phillip Rivers to get back on track and to beat Miami in Miami. Okay, next game. The other Washington Redskins. Going to the Minnesota Vikings. Now I struggle with this one. RG3 is coming back for this game. Um, so that that made me struggle a little bit. But you know the Vikings are winning these ugly games, and the Redskins, uh, they're they're a bad football team. Uh, I mean, how they beat the best team in the NFL last week, I don't know, but they did. Um, it's enough. I mean, they've won two straight now. Let's put an end to it, please. Uh, and I think the Vikings will do that. I think they'll win this one at home. Um, we'll see about that one though, because I'm still not sure about that one. Next game, you have the St. Louis Rams at the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, this is one, everyone's unanimous. I mean, not because the Rams stake, and they certainly do, um, but just because we expect 49ers coming off a bye week to get back on a winning track to keep going towards the playoffs, despite what problems they might have in their front office, locker room, etc., they'll win this one. Next game, this is the game I'm, I really struggled with. We have the Denver Broncos at the New England Patriots. Okay, I mean the Patriots beat the Broncos last year, but I mean, come on, it was a it was a comeback, and I mean it was improbable to say the least. The Broncos are getting a pass rush. The Broncos the Broncos appear to have a good combination of offense and defense this time around. I mean, I think they get the victory here, and I had the Patriots going to the Super Bowl, and I still have that, by the way. Um, but I don't have the Patriots beating the Broncos this season. I have someone else beating the Broncos, and we'll get into that later. But for now. Broncos win this one, 31-27, pretty good shootout. All right, next game we have, oh, gosh, the Oakland Raiders going to Seattle. Now, I'm going to pick Seattle. I've been on the bandwagon, and I'm still on there, by the way, because, but well, first of all, it's not a bandwagon. I led the damn bandwagon. I have Moses in this biatch, okay? I'm the first one to say that the Seattle Seahawks will miss the playoffs, and I'm still on that. I'm still leading that charge. But with that said, they're going to win this game. They're facing the worst team in the league in Oakland. Uh, now, wait a minute, though. I have to preface this. You remember last season, okay? Think back to last season. As the Seattle Seahawks hosted the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Seattle. The Buccaneers, who ended up being, what was it, like um, 5-11, okay, went to... Seattle and went to overtime. None of us were expecting that shit. Now you keep your eye on this game because Derek Carr is someone that I have faith in and he might just come to Seattle and challenge them. But with that said, I'm picking the Seahawks, but just look out for it. I'm telling you. Alright, we have the Ravens at the Steelers. Now, this is a rivalry that usually splits. But I'm not picking it. Okay, the Steelers have been on a winning streak lately. They're high on themselves. They think they're great. They're world beaters. They're going to the Super Bowl. The Ravens took a bad loss last week. This is where things even out. This is where the Ravens win the game. This is where the Steelers come back to earth. And this is where the Ravens get back on track. Uh, you know, the Steelers, they play great. I mean, they play great. They beat the Indianapolis Colts, the AFC South champions. Uh, but now, the Ravens are coming to town. The Ravens are looking to win a game. Joe Flacco was awful last week. He's rarely awful two weeks in a row. Gotta pick the Ravens here. I gotta pick the Ravens here to beat Pittsburgh. To sweep Pittsburgh. Alright, now we have the Colts at the Giants. Now, I mean, the Colts have to win this game. Uh, I mean, they're not for the standpoint of the AFC South because we already know they won that damn thing. Um, but as far as home field advantage is concerned, this is going to be a pivotal game. And you can't drop too straight. Uh, you know, so they have to look out for that. The Colts will win, though. They'll win. Uh, the Giants aren't very good at all. Um, and they're back to where I thought they would be. They're, they are who I thought they were. Uh, so now the Colts go to New York, take care of business, and that's a wrap. So with that said, James Carter TV, thank you for watching my week night predictions. I swear from now on I'll be on time. And until next time, I'm out. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let me just talk about the Titans real quick because my team's on bye week. Uh, we stink. Um, I mean, we, we suck. A, a challenge to Titans fans out there, please, go to the Tennessee Titans schedule.
Okay, go. Let me pull it up right now. I mean, let me let's just let's just do this. Okay, we have at Baltimore hosting Pittsburgh to Philly to Houston hosting New York Giants hosting New York Jets going to Jacksonville and hosting Indianapolis. I don't think we're going to win a game. I think we may sneak out one game, but, I mean, not more than that. So, I mean, that's something to look out for. Wow, we suck. And the thing is, though, you people, we need, I know people are going to say, oh, man, Burger can, no, 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 that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. What is wrong with this franchise? It's not the fact that, oh, we're getting, we want adequate quarterback play. Because, yeah, Zach Menberger gave us adequate quarterback play. Now, you're asking me, would I rather have Alex Smith, okay, and Colin Kaepernick? I'm taking Colin Kaepernick. Why? Because he's a superstar. And that's what we need here. We need a superstar. Menberg is not a superstar. Jameis Winston, he's a superstar. Marcus Mariota, he's a superstar. We're going to be a top three pick. No one of them motherfuckers is going to be there. You cannot pass on them. You can't do it. This franchise needs a superstar and yes i understand that if you pick a quarterback there's not a i mean the chances you know the, the, there's a good chance to be a bust it's i you know what i think i think it's 50 50 if you're telling me you got to pick a quarterback because there's a 50 50 chance i'm taking that because if we get the right 50 we're good we're good so that's the message to the Titans fans all right until next time james carter tv I'm out. Peace.